Okay, we are ready to begin working on our linear functions concept map. This is not going to provide all of the answers you need. You will still need to continue working to find the rest of your answers for the concept map. This is merely some assistance to help guide you through answering these questions. Now, considering that we have a linear function, the root word for linear is line. My graph should be a line when I'm finished. If it's not a line, we need to figure out what happened. Okay? Here, the function f of x equals x is the function rule. This is what I have to use to find my output values that go in my table. Here I have some scratch paper to figure out the rest of the, the output values. So if f of x equals x, when I substitute for x, f of negative 4, it equals, well, negative 4 in this case. Because the rule states that f of x and x are the same. They're equal. So I fill in my table and I use the rule for the rest of my input values. Now, I'm going to use the point, the coordinates for my table to plot on the graph. The x value tells me how far left or right, and the, y, the f of x value tells me how far up or down to go on the y-axis. So my first coordinate is negative 4, negative 4. My next coordinate, negative 2, negative 2, 0, 0, 1, 1, 3, 3, and 5, 5. And using a straight edge, I'll connect the dots. And we see we have a graph of a line. So why is this called a linear function? Well, remember the hint. The root word is line. What is the x-intercept? The x-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the x-axis. So this is your hint. And the same for the y-intercept. The point where the graph crosses the y-axis. So if we look along the x-axis and look along the y-axis, we have to follow to see where the graph crosses. And we use those coordinates to answer those questions. Slope. Many students tell me slope is equal to rise over run. You can also use the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, where you find two points, you simply subtract and then divide. Or you can follow a simple rule where you count 
how far up you have to go divided by how far over you have to go. So our rise was 2, our run was 2, so it's 2 divided by 2, therefore the slope is 1. Now the hint to answer the last two questions, how could the x and y intercept be changed? Well, let's say this marker is my line. And we know that the x and y intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis or the y-axis. So we can simply roll our marker and create a new line. We can shift the line up or we can shift it down. It's up to you where you want to make your line if you want to change it. How can the slope be changed? Slope tells me how steep my line is. So again, we'll use this marker and we can change the slope simply by tilting the marker. That changes the slope. 